up and welcome back to the Radiant Rings. I'm Closer Oli and today I'm back here for a new day, new video and a very new topic. First of all, thank you all for your support and love to our videos. It has been great so far. All of you are liking and appreciating our videos and the content too. If you have any suggestions, please feel free to email me. We had some very good suggestions by our viewers and we'll definitely work towards it. In the meantime, let's get back to today's video. So my parents have told me about how their friends and known people are talking about my math videos. They said that it is super helpful to their kids and we'll look forward to seeing more such ones on our YouTube channel. My dear friends, this made me so, 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 so imaginably uncountable so happy to hear and i truly appreciate it all please continue the journey with us by subscribing to our channel yes subscribing and liking and sharing our videos to as many as possible also please encourage others to subscribe to the channel and watch our videos as well so as you would know that i had previously done casting out nine math videos if you are not aware of it, I would encourage you to watch that first to get a good idea of what is happening in this one. I'm going to complete the series over the next two videos. Two videos. Today is the Casting Out 9 Multiplication version. Yes, we finished with Addition and Division. So let's continue now. I have been requested by many for these because they found the previous two videos so helpful that they want to know how the other ones work out. So let's get started with it. Woohoo! Okay guys, so let's start off with the casting out nine multiplication version. But before you watch this part of math, if I were you, I would watch the first two casting out that we videos that we did, which was for division and addition, because addition is sort of what we what I would call the base of casting out nine, and then we work our way upwards, so subtraction, multiplication, and then in my opinion, the hardest division. Okay, so you guys know the friends of ten, right? Those are the numbers that equal to 10, like 1, 9, 2, and 8, so on. But in this case, we're going to make a list with, let's, let's say it as friends of 9. So numbers that equal to 9. And that is 0, 9. That's a definite one. Then we have 1 and 8. 2 and 7. 3 and 6. And lucky last, we have 4 and 5. And then vice versa. So 5 plus 4, 6 plus 3, so on. Okay, guys. So why do we have to make the list of numbers that equal to 9? Well, we have to make the numbers that equal to 9. So that when we do our equations, we can cast them off. Which means we can cross out the numbers, just shorten up the equation. Now, let's get on to our first equation. Our first equation is going to be, drumroll please, 12 times 19. Okay guys, so that is our first equation. And for, for the video where I showed three different ways of multiplication, you can use those ways to solve this problem. And when you solve it, you will get 228. And also, the three different ways of multiplying are in one of our math videos, How to Get Better at Math Part 2. So you can watch that and then find three different ways of multiplying. And then, when you times 12 times 19, you get 228. Now let's use our casting out multiplication version with the list we have of numbers that are equal to 9. So first, 12, 1 and 2. Are there any numbers from the list that we have that equal to 9 or are 9? No, right? So then all we have to do with these numbers is add them up 
and put them into our check column, which will be the next column on the side, the right hand side. One plus two is three. So we can put that there. Then we have 19. Are any numbers 9 or that equal to 9? Well, yes, our 1's digit, 9. So we can immediately cross that out, and also the list, the 0 plus 9. Then all we have is 1. As 1 has nothing to add on to because we removed the 9, we can just leave it as the number 1. So if you got to see 1 plus 0. Then, before we get on to doing 228, we have to do 3 times 1 because we are doing multiplication, not any other operation. And when we times 3 by 1, what do we get? 3. So that is our check answer in purple. And now let's move on to 228. For this number, are there any numbers that are 9 or equal to 9, the 3 digits? No, right? So all you have to do is add up the three digits. 2 plus 2 plus 8. 8 plus 2, we can make it into friends of 10. And then when we have a friends of 10, that gets easier to add on to. Then we have 2 plus 10, which equals 12. But as it is a two digit number, we have to reduce it to a single digit. We have to have to have to do it. So then by doing that, we have to add them up. And as we did previously with the 12, with the 12 times 19, we get, we get three, right? Because we did that in our previous one. And as a three from the purple, which is our check answer, we call it check answer. And the three that is in orange down here circled, they both are the same number. Which means we got the equation correct. Woohoo! We can give that two ticks. So that does mean 12 times 19 is 228. And now that we have that, we can move on to our next equation. Hey guys, so let's move on to our second equation. And for those who are having a hard time coping up with this because it, it was your first time watching a casting out 9 video, I will do another 2 digit times 2 digit equation to make it more easier to understand for you guys. So our next equation is 23 times 18. And again, when you use the three ways of multiplication, when you times 23 by 18, you will get 414. Okay, so let's start with the costing out 9. We have the list on the right side, so that'll just make it more easier. 0 plus 9, 1 plus 8, 2 plus 7, 3 plus 6, and 4 plus 5. So, 23, 2 plus 3. Are there any numbers that are 9 or equal to 9? No, right? So we just have to add them up. And when we do add them up, 2 plus 3, we get 5. Moving on to 18. Are there any numbers that equal to 9 or are 9? Yes, we have 1 plus 8. And over here we have 18. So we don't need to add them up. And we can just cross them out. So we have 5 and 0. Then before we move on to 414, what we have to do is 5 times 0 because we're doing multiplication. And any number times 0 is going to be 0. So 5 times 0 will be 0. Now let's move on to 414. But before we go ahead, this is a very special number and you can do something with it and I will show you right now. So 4 plus 1 is 5, right? And then for, through the 4 plus 1 is 5, 5 plus 4 is 9. 
and then there we have it so we can cross out four no, the two fours and one because four plus five equals nine isn't this just a magical number so we can cross the whole number out and then we have zero and our check answer zero which was in purple and the zero that we have through our equation which is circled in orange is the same they they both match they both are zero so we can give this a two ticks and there we have it so that means 23 times 18 does equal 414 okay guys so don't you guys see how easy this is like whenever you're submitting your work to your teacher or your parents you can just recheck it yourself and it is very accurate are you guys up for the challenge now because we will be doing three digit times three digit woohoo i think you guys are up for the challenge and want to learn so we will do it can we have a drum roll please 109 times 361 and when you use the multiplication way we will get a big number 39,349 so now we have let's start off with 109 are there any numbers that equal to 9 or are 9? Yes, we have 0 and 9. The last and the second last number. So then we can cross them out, cast them out too. And then we have lonely 1. 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1. Okay, so that's done. Now we have 361. Are there any numbers that equal to 9 or are 9? Yes, we have 36. 3 plus 6 is 9, so we can cast them out too. And then again, we have lonely 1. So 0 plus 0 plus 1 equals 1. Then we have 39,349. Are there any numbers that equal to 9 or are 9 in this number? Yes, we have two 9s. The last one and the second one. So we can cast them out. And then we have 3, 3, and 4. We have to add them up. And then, because no numbers equal to 9 or are 9 in, that, in the equation. So we let's do our friends of 10. 3 plus 3 is 6, plus 4 is 10. But as 10 is a 2 digit number, we have to reduce it to a 1 digit number. Have to, have to, have to reduce it. And 1 plus 0 is 1. And then moving back up to our 109 and 361, the two ones that we had, we have to multiply them. When we do 1 multiplied by 1, we get 1. So that is our check answer. And the 1 through our equation 1 and the check answer 1, they both are the same number. Means we got this equation yet again correct. Woohoo, we can give that 2 ticks. So that means 109 times 361 is 39,349. Okay guys, so didn't you see how easy casting out 9 was? Especially the 3 digit times 3 digit. Was it easy? Was it hard? Were you up for a challenge? I'm pretty sure you guys get the hang of it now. And also do check it out at home with different numbers and play around with the numbers and solve different equations. That way it'll get more easier and easier to do the casting out 9s. Yeah. <laughs>
Okay guys, so now let's do something different. A four digit number times a two digit number. This is interesting. Drum roll please. 3042 times 81. What is the answer to this my friends? I know this is a very big number, but trust me, it'll work out just fine. The answer to this equation is 246,402. <coughs> now, let's start off with 3042. This is also a very special number, like we did previously with 414. Because 3 plus 4 is 7, right? But then, we add the 2 to get 9. And then we have the 0 of course, and 9 plus 0 is still 9. So we can cast out the whole number to get a 0. So for our check answer column, the first number is going to be 0. Now let's move on to 81. Are any numbers 9 or equal to 9 and 81? Yes, we have 1 and 8. 8 and 1, vice versa. So we can give those numbers across our 2. We can cast them out. And then we have the remaining 0 again. And before we move on to, f to the last number, we can do 0 times 0. And 0 times 0 is 0. Okay guys, so now, okay guys, so now let's move on to 246,402. So for 246,000, we can just do four, 2 plus 4 to get 6. And then 6 plus 6 to get 12. And then plus 4 to get 16. And then 16 plus 0 is 16. And then adding the last 2, we get 18. So we can write that all down in steps. But as we have 18, 1 plus 8 equals to 9. As we have to reduce it to a single digit. Now that we have 9, we can cast out every single digit in that number. And then, now that we have 9, we have lonely 0 again. And now, 0 from our check answer that was up, and 0 from our equation that is down over here. They are the, both the same number and they match. So this answer is correct. So what do you think, guys? Isn't this just such an easy method when you don't have any calculator around? Like, isn't it even faster than a calculator to check your answers? And that also does mean 3042 times 81 equals 246,402. Okay guys, so hope this was helpful again and we will continue the next one in the video. Till then, keep practicing with different numbers to get better at mathematics. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share our videos. And when you subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get a notification when our videos are posted out on YouTube. See you all in the next video. Bye!